where you work, it's the payroll savings plan. Where you bank, it's the bond a month plan. Everywhere, it's United States savings bonds for real financial security. <laughs> How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is your host, Kenny Delmar, introducing Guest Star, one of a series of programs produced and transcribed in New York and presented by this station and United States Savings Bonds as a public service. Our guest for this program is the dainty diva of the dolorous downbeat, Lena Horn. Yes, indeed. But first, the Savings Bonds Orchestra, directed by Dennis Agay, the three singing dollars and a medley of welcome revivals. That's my weakness now, and I love you. And now, here's our United States Savings Bonds guest star, that sultry songbird of the somber sonata, Lena Horn. My, 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 Kenny. Sultry songbird of the somber sonata. And before, dainty diva of the dolorous downbeat. You're full of alliterations, aren't you? Yeah, Lena. As a matter of fact, my friends call me the gay illiterate. Great. I'm taking advantage, I know. I, I shouldn't have said that. But say, with all the new songs that keep coming out, you must spend lots of time learning so many of them. Don't you find it difficult? Well, not at all, Kenny. I have a system, you see. There are about 200 songs published every week. I just examine them, then divide them into group A and group B, good and bad. Uh -huh. The bad ones I discard, and the good ones I learn. Yeah, but still 200 songs a week, that's over 10,000 songs a year. Even discarding the bad ones, you have to learn quite a few of those 10,000 songs. Oh, yeah. Some years I have to learn as many as a dozen. Some years. Yeah. Well, I, I agree with you. Very few modern love songs are really good, and I don't know why. That Tchaikovsky music is pretty. Well, I think it's in the lyrics. They've got it down to too much of a formula. It always seems to go sort of like this. A loves B, but B loves C. And B can't see B for A. Or there's a twist. A loves C, but C loves B, but B can't see C. Si, senorita, that's very good, yes. <laughs> well, absolutely, Nina. I'd say that, that love songs today lack true romance. You know, they're not filled with tender passion and sentiment and, well, you know, they don't transport you to that never-never land <laughs> where all our dreams of love come true. You gotta have a little mazel. <laughs> Well, I take it, Kenny, you dislike modern love songs. Dislike? I'll tell you how much I dislike them in just two words. Completely. I got that. A uh, friend of mine wrote that in. <laughs> well, if there's anything I like, it's an old-fashioned love song. And if there's anything I sing, it's old-fashioned love. Ah, uh, didn't we just sneak into that title, Just Peachy? <laughs> got that old-fashioned love in my heart And there it will always remain My love is like an ivy vine Clinging ever closer all the time Through the years, joy and tears Always the same I've got that old-fashioned faith in my 
heart No sorrow can tear it apart Should all the dry land change to see It would never make any change in me I've got that old-fashioned love in my heart Simply stupendous, Lena. Oh, it's just one of those things, Kenny. Oh, never mind about being modest. It was merely magnificent, slightly sensational. Oh, it was just one of those things. Well, a trifle terrific is a hint of heaven. Really, Kenny, it's just one of those things. Look, I'm trying to tell you how wonderful you sing, and you just keep saying, it's just one of those things. Why? Because that's the title of the song I'm going to sing right now. Oh, smart girl. <laughs> Just one of those crazy things One of those bells that now and then ring Just one of those things It was just one of those nights Just one of those Fabulous flights A trip to the moon On gossamer wings Just one of those things If we thought a bit Of the end of it For we started painting the town have been aware that our love affair was too hot not to cool down so goodbye dear amen here's hoping we meet now and then it was great but it was just one of those things If we thought a bit Of the end of it Before we started painting the town We'd have been aware That our love affair was too hot not to cool down. So goodbye, dear and amen. Here's hoping we meet now and then. It was great fun, but it was just one of those. Just Just one of those things. Lena Horn, I'm sure I've never heard just one of those things done in more appealing fashion. You have a standing invitation to visit guest star anytime you can drop in. Well, thank you, Kenny. 
And incidentally, I've been hearing a lot of these guest star programs over the radio at home. I heard the one with Burns and Allen, the one with Lawrence Melchior and Helen Traubel, and Alec Templeton, and Kay Kaiser, and Fibber McGee and Molly, and, oh, gee, I don't know how many. Uh-huh, you must be a real radio fan. Well, I am. And a savings bonds fan, too. That's the point I was going to make. The guests you have on these programs all have different talents, you know. Some sing, some are comedians, some play musical instruments. But when it comes to saving for the future, they all go about it the same way by investing regularly in United States savings bonds. Well, that's right, Lane. A lot of famous folks have performed on Guest Star, and every one of them is not only a firm believer in United States savings bonds, but a regular buyer of United States savings bonds. Crosby, Hope, Durante, Moore, Skelton, Gladys Swarthout, Henry Morgan, Phil Baker, Ozzie and Harriet Nelson, all of them and lots of others have taken the time and trouble to appear on Guest Star just because they want to help let everybody know about the value of buying bonds. Well, the, the facts about United States saving bonds speak for themselves. They are a safe investment, guaranteed by our government. They are a profitable investment, paying $4 back for three in just 10 years. And of course, I've learned from experience that the only effective way to build a real nest egg is to save regularly. So for that reason, I think the payroll savings plan is a wonderful idea. Right you are, Lena, and definitely, because where you work, you just tell the folks how much you want set aside from your pay each week toward the purchase of United States savings bonds, and they do the rest. Buy the bonds and deliver them to you. Now that's easy, automatic saving. And the kind of saving that produces real results. But look here, I've been talking enough. What was that tune Dennis I gave, the three dollars in the orchestra we were rehearsing earlier? Oh, they were rehearsing? Oh, that was, uh, If This Isn't Love. From Finian's Rainbow? Uh-huh. Oh, well, let's hear it. All right. If this isn't love, the whole world is crazy. This isn't love, I'm left as a daisy With moons all around and cows jumping over There's something amiss and I'll eat my head if this isn't love A secret, a secret, I've got a little secret Secret, a secret, a secret kind of secret I'm feeling like the apple on top of William Tell With this I cannot grapple Because, because you're so adorable If this isn't love, the whole world is crazy this isn't love, I'm deaf as a daisy With moons all around and cows jumping over There's something amiss and I'll eat my hat if this isn't love I'm making for to shout it to every daffodil And tell the world about it, in fact I think I will You like that, uh, Lena girl? Ah, uh, yes, indeed. But I've got to be running now. Thanks for inviting me over. And if anybody ever asks you what Lena Horn thinks about United States savings bonds, just tell them I feel the same way millions of Americans who own them feel. They're wonderful. Right. <laughs> Your host, Kenny Delmar, signing off for Guest Star, one of a series of programs produced and transcribed in New York and presented by this station and United States Savings Bonds as a public service. Our sincere thanks to Lena Horn for being with us on this program. And until next we meet, here's a question to remember. Have you invested in United States Savings Bonds this week? They're a goodbye. Goodbye, that is. Goodbye.